Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and i'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we'd like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Danger averted for now. Matuidi. Griezmann. Griezmann! Steered forward. Werner. Sunny. He's left his man. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Baran tries to switch the play. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way. It's Giroud! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Sané. Sané looking to get on the end of this. And that's been levered clear. Kroos gets up, goes for goal! Werner! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Mondi. Plays it out wide. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Defended. That had to be done. Titi tries to get it forward quickly. 
Matuidi. Chance! Griezmann crosses. Rudiger tries to clear. Away from immediate danger. A really good feat. Mbappe. And here's Griezmann. It's anyone's ball. Matuidi. And he heaves it forward. And it's been taken straight back. Across the field it goes. And the defence can get it clear. It is a corner. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Pavar. And here's Giroud. Could be thinking about a shot here. Rudiger gets good distance on it. And it's Mondi. Lovely bit of skill there. It's Griezmann! It's off target and by quite a way. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Rudiger. Tony Kroos. Pogba. So nil nil still, but both sides have had their moments. Conte. Rafael Varan. Titi moves it over to the other flank. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Werner. Gnabry with a long part. Tries a shot! Goal! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Sanic really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. Germany draw first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Great run on the overlap here. Driving on a real charge here. And the keeper's in command. Ball is over the line. He's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Germany head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Germany really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this.
Kimmich. Kroos. Kimmich. Werner tries to head towards goal. Good clearance and very necessary. Mbappe. Mbappe plotting from out on the right-hand side. And here's Giroud. Matuidi. And it's Griezmann. Out towards the flank. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Gnabry. Tony Kroos. Built as the single goal between the sides. Now it's Sane. Gets wrestled off the ball. Sane was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Umtiti. Conte. Just about up to the hour now. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Well, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And he just whacks it away. to get it away well it's good stuff this is better well this isn't the time to talk about risks now Jim is it they just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break just has to be done Kimmich Tony Kroos Germany got their goal at the end of the first half, and it's 1-0. Receives it from behind. Keeps everyone guessing. Oh, smart save. Has a goal! Just off target. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Tony Kroos. Keira. Kimmich drives it forward, out to the right. That is terrific skill. Werner. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Mbappe. Havar played into space out wide. Kimmich battles to win it back. France are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Schuller. Umtiti. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Griezmann. Matuidi with a delicate ball. France need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift.
Pogba. Germany need to hold on for a few more moments. And it's Matuidi. Matuidi plays it out to the wing. And that's been repelled. France cannot afford for this to peter out. There just isn't time left. Sane has made his mark on this game. Hoists it forward. He's on Werner! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Almost the perfect move. Almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. France making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but... And that is that. What a game. End-to-end, -end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all.